Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Bloodborne with GK Plays. I hope you enjoyed the last episode where we beat Dan Gascoigne. Um, we absolutely laid the law uh, with Gascoigne. Um, I'm so proud of myself. I, I've only just achieved that as well. So uh, super ch super chuffed. Uh, we're in the Cathedral Ward. Uh, we got the Odin um, Tomb Key from uh, Gascoigne, and we've ended up in Cathedral Ward. Um, we've got this dude. Let's have a chat. Hmm? Oh, you must be a hunter. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside. Waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going by it. Screams of women folk, the stench of blood, the snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, I tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Okay, so this guy is basically- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I am so sorry, friend. Ah, it's my fault, I know. Please. <laughs> I did not mean to put a bullet in his head. I know I shouldn't, but if you happen upon something- Oh, thank God for that. I thought I'd lost him then. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go uh, back to the hunter's dream for now. Um, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to put a bullet in his head. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, what we're going to do in this episode, we are going to go and speak to a couple of NPCs and tell them where the Erden Chapel is. Um, because we've come across a few people where we can actually transport Welcome them there. Welcome home, good. What is it you desire? First and foremost, I want my uh, I want to level up now. Certain weapons scale with different things. The sword cleaver actually scales with skill and strength. However, it does scale slightly better with strength. So I'm going to put a level into that. Now it costs me two thousand eight hundred and fifty-seven. Now, if you didn't, um, good hunter. Thank you. Um, if you didn't watch um, my uh, live stream, you may not know that uh, basically. Um, okay, let's go to. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go to the Great Bridge. I think. Yeah, Great Bridge. Um, sorry, I was trying to map routes in my head then. Uh, so when you level up, your level, uh, your cost of leveling goes up as well, and that is permanent. Uh, so once you've leveled up, that's it. You can't then swap your levels around. So you've got to be really careful. Now the saw cleaver, I used for a lot in the last game. I am planning on using other weapons, but a lot of them are strength based, which is Ooh, look at this. I'm pretty sure this has gotten darker. Um, so, yes, so that means that uh, I don't mind putting a few points into my strength stat. I will put some into skill as well. Oh, he's backing off. Interesting. Um, but you should see a pretty dramatic uh, rise over the course of the game in the... Um, Really? So I can deal with those in pretty much one flurry. Um, now, unlike Dark Souls and the games like it, um, in Dark Souls you get weapons that you can't really take all the way to the end game from the start. Not really. Like, there's, there's some, but... Not many. So 
Just try and make life hard, uh, easier, that's all. Okay. Backing off. So even these guys don't give me too much grief anymore, which is awesome. Now, the first person we're going to go see is the uh, the little girl uh, with the brooch, because uh, we need to uh, tell her about her mum and dad. I think there was a uh, there was a shortcut. Just past here. Memory serves. You see, the saw cleaver is such a good weapon as well because. Do you know what? It, it was worth it just to make life easy. Because it's serrated in both in in its natural form, i.e., this form, not this form. It is uh, really good against beasts. You get a little bit of bonus damage because it's serrated. Whereas some weapons like the Kirk Hammer, for instance, are good. But you don't get that extra damage. Hello, where are you going, sunshine? Uh, so let's talk to the little girl. Hello, Miss Hunter. Do you come by my mum? Uh, sorry. Miss Hunter, I'm so very hurt. Sorry. Mummy, leave me alone. Anything more we can do? No. Okay. And sadly, we have lost the brooch, which is unfortunate. Um, I don't know if that was the right thing to do, but it feels like the right thing to do. Right. The next person we need to go talk to is the uh, old lady. The old crone that kept having a, having a pop at us. Oh, that's a point. Did these guys drop anything? Uh, the old lady that was giving us some grief earlier, if you remember. Yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. We've got to go save her, I suppose. So, let's go down here to the kennels. This is the thing with Bloodborne. It's quite maze-like, but then you find your way around. And um, he says he gets completely lost. I thought the kennels were... Oh, balls. Now what have I done? Don't want to be down there, because that is a death trap. I could have sworn the kennels were around here. Maybe not. I think they're a bit further up. So uh, yeah, basically, you, you generally speaking, you have two choices in this game. You can send people to where am I going? This way. You can send people to the um, Yosefa's clinic. Uh, which, um, eh, not the best choice. Uh, or you can send them to Erden Chapel, where they tend to survive-ish. I think it's down here. Is it down here? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. didn't mean to annoy you two. Backing off slowly. No, that's fine, they're gone. Where the hell are these kennels? Yep, you're a little more than an annoyance now. I might as well get rid of you, because it's free bullets. Oh, I'm going to have to get rid of you as well. I am sure I have literally taken the worst route to get to these kennels.
where the bloody Why can't I deal with this pair? Turn your back on me. Well, at the very least, we've got some extra echoes. That's something. 158, so about 300 extra echoes by dealing with that pair. Did you not drop anything? Skin flint. Absolute skin flint. I've just been up here, I'm sure. Did I literally... Oh, I literally just took the wrong turn. Should have known better, really, shouldn't I? <laughs> I literally said... The, um... This place was very labyrinthian. Right, I am going to kill these. I know it's laborious. But... The last thing I need is I'm trying to save some old crone who doesn't even like me. And the last thing I need is some dog chowing down on my neck. Yep, yeah, that means you too, mate. Okay. I'm not too concerned. I know my health's low, but to be honest, once I've done this, I'll be going back to the hunter's dream anyway, so... I'll burn down. Shutting up indoors isn't always enough. Correct. Well, if he wants to sod off your asses, he wouldn't be in this mess. Sod off? You're obligated to help me, you hear? Can we just send her to a cliff? Are you going to tell me you're not? Well, what do you know? An outsider worth a lick of salt. Yeah, stop being a complete well, pranny and get on, get on the way. Don't you have work to do? Go slit some throats. Get this mess done with. She's just so, so much of a pain. All right, let's um, head back. So yeah, I was literally saying about how you can get used to Bloodborne and, and its labyrinthian way. And uh, I end up getting bloody lost. <laughs> it's just sod's law with me. Uh, it's... Yeah, okay. I'm going to head back to the Hunter's Dream and uh, spend these Echoes because I've got enough for another point, I think, of upgrade, which is good. Now, one thing you'll notice with Bloodborne as we play, um, it's going to get darker as the night goes on. So, um, let's talk to Gilbert. His name's Gilbert. Ah, oh, you needn't concern yourself with me. I'm afraid I'm of little help now. But before I Ooh. take this, Ooh. I make no use of it, but perhaps you. <coughs> okay. Flame spare. What afflicted me was incurable, but this time gave me hope. Their strange blood bought me time. I was most fortunate, unharmed by the plague of beasts. I can even die human. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, let's go back to the hunter's dream. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at that new weapon, the flame sprayer. I think it was. So yeah, we we let the little girl know of her mum and dad's death. Pretty much, um, that's pretty much what's implied. Um, let's take a look at this beast of a weapon, uh, the flame sprayer. 
Special weapon used by certain members of the Healing Church spits searing flames by using blood imbued quicksilver bullets as a special medium. Not the most efficient weapon by any stretch, but sometimes a sea of flame is just what the doctor ordered. Uh, beside the beast of Yarn besides the beasts of Yarnum could always use a good cleansing. Okay. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Uh, okay, we need uh, attributes. Cool. Uh, what do we need? Uh, eight arcane. Okay, we need a point of arcane to use it. I'm not gonna put into arcane just yet. Welcome. What is it? Very let. Um, I think I'm gonna put another point into strength. And I'm gonna go buy more, more um, Molotovs because they're always handy to have. How the, why are they 380 now? They were 160 a minute ago. You conning merchants. Alright. I think we can get rid of the music box. We'll put Molotovs back in. And just for emergencies. No, let's put that there. Hunter's Mark there. Oil in there, just in case we need it. No. Thank you. Right, let's actually do some progress. Progress! See what this guy's got to say. Ah, oh, the hunter. Thank ah, you. the hunter. To that old girl, you told her about this place, right? Well, she don't offer me much in the way of conversation, but still, I'd rather hmm. see her alive anyhow. Triumph. If you find any sane survivors, well, send them a knock to Erdan Chapel, will ya? <laughs> okay. Ah, the hunter that put a bullet in my head. Oh, oh. So now, I haven't forgotten. Do you think I owe you something? Oh my God, you miserable old bat! It's a fine lark, I'd say. This old mess at Yarnum's in. It's all your fault. You put it to the outsiders. Our blood's ruined, tainted by your ilk. Ilk. Don't you come near me. You know my type, do you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, maybe not. Whoa, you're new. Okay. Yeah, these guys are very new. Um, <laughs> okay, he's wandering off, so I don't feel too bad taking this guy on. I mean, I assume I was meant to beat him up. But then again, I assume a lot anyway. So, oh, six blood fires. Damn, man. I'm gonna viso you. I'm gonna viso you. You're gonna get a saw cleaver right at the bum. <laughs> I am making a huge assumption that those guys are, like, bad. <laughs> okay, got a couple of. Huntsman, but like, oh, a dog, okay. Nothing too uh, taxing, I don't think. I love how the dog actually ran into the fire. That's ace. Dang, man. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of you because you're scary with that fire. I mean, I'm not scared of fire. I'm not a beast. <laughs> Eyes shift. Sh shiftily. <gasps> okay, what's all this about? Oh. 
I heard you. Madman's knowledge. Okay, cool. No. Let's uh, get juiced up just in case. Because like I said, this is new territory. And I don't remember this section of the game all that well. This is the thing. The Yarnum section, not a problem. As soon as we leave Yarnum, I am in unfamiliar territory. Cold blood dew. Molotov cut. Oh. Lovely. That dead guy over there. Yeah. Best friend for life. So, yeah. I think we've got a few ways we can go at this point. So... Oh, there's a guy up there. Has he got a... He's a gun. He's a gun guy. Right. Oh, two dogs. Oh, you're spoiling me. Let's rush him. More bullets. Always good. Ooh, I think we're in the upstairs portion of the cathedral. That we were in. Beast hunter, aren't you? No, I just carry this weapon around for fun. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Okay, Alfred. May Protégé I shoot you too? Master Ligarius, hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Oh, very good. Right. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Fire paper. Pray. Beast hunting yeah. is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. Okay. There must be oodles for us to share. Go on. Just tell me what piques your interest. Talk about the hidden church. As you know. The Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. While I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution, but I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral, and that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. Mm. As you know, the heat. Well, I'm a simp, but I okay, have. So that just if you seek. Talk about Bergenworth. Bergenworth is an old place of learning. And the tomb of the gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, Everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the healing church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. Okay. So this is Alfred. Um, he's obviously some form of some form of hunter. Um, told us a little bit about the Healing Church and Bergenworth, which are both institutions that we are fairly familiar with by now. Uh, we actually read that thing in the um, other um, the other place about Bergenworth. Uh, what's this? If you remember, we read about the, um... Ooh. Need to go down and check that out. Oh, convenient. Hold is convenient. 
Ta da! Um, so yeah, we read a little bit about Bergenworth in the um, the library on the way here, if you remember, uh, the, the the spider. Uh, so maybe that's got something to do with what he's talking about. Who knows? Who knows? What's over here? Tempering blood gemstone one. Okay, that must be something we can upgrade our weapons with. What's down here? Whoa, hello. Is it just you? Bloodstone shard, lovely. We could do more of those. Um, is that it? It's very dark. Very dark indeed. Might be something there. Can't say I like how dark it is, just saying. Um. Ah. Antidote. Lovely. Oh, is that another lamp? I think it is. And a big door. Okay. Let's light the lamp. Just, you know, click it open. All good. All good in the hood. This town's long abandoned. Hunters not wanted here. Well, let's stroll right in then. Old Yarn. Okay, like that is it. Hmm. All right, fair enough. Well, come, we will be back. Don't worry. I've dealt with that area before. It's somewhat interesting. Um. Ooh, that was very atmospheric. Plunger blocked blood cocktail. Blah 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 blood cocktail. Cool. Alright, fair enough. Let's go back to the dream. For now. Um, I know we haven't really done much this episode, but this is a thing with Bloodborne. It's such a big game and there's so much to do. And there's so many little things to find. Um, even a simple thing like, like this episode has been progress. So, can we afford a level Welcome yet? Home. What is it? Very well, let me stand. Yes, we can. Okay, I'm going to put one in Vitality because our yeah, HP well, could be better. And we're going to call this an episode, guys. So thank you very much for joining me for Bloodborne, and I will see you in the next episode. Don't forget, smash that like button. Smash it. And um, I will uh, see you in the next one. Don't, uh, don't go shooting people in the head. And, um, you know, people that are nice to you especially. And um, may the good blood guide your way. That's today's lesson. See you soon. Bye-bye.